Tropical soda apple is basically an invasive plant that's native to South America and it was discovered in Florida in about 1988 in Glades County. Once it got here, it quickly spread to cover almost about a million acres. It's a perennial shrub. It's about two to four feet tall and it's got these characteristic long spines uh, all over the leaves and stems. It also produces these kind of like watermelon-like fruits initially when they're young, but eventually when these fruits ripen, they turn kind of a dull yellow. Once it gets into, let's say, natural areas, uh, it alters the biodiversity or actually displaces the native plant populations. When it gets into some of the like cattle ranchers, cattle ranches and, and some of the pastures, um, this causes a loss in productivity. So cattle ranchers then have to lower their stocking rates. To deal with that, then they have to spend a lot of money for like chemical control. The tropical soda apple beetle was discovered uh, in about 1994. What the beetle does, the uh, adults and larvae actually attack the plant. They feed on the, in the upper portion of the plant where you have more of the newer, younger, tender uh, growth. And what they do is they create these sort of shotgun hole appearances in the leaf. They create these shot, shot hole um, feeding scars. And what this does is opens up the plant to, uh, to uh, infection by diseases. It also just weakens the plant, particularly at high densities when the beetles are feeding. Uh, so this causes then the plant to become weakened and eventually fruit production declines as well. The advantages of classical biocontrol, let's say over conventional herbicides or mowing, is the fact that it's permanent. It's safe. Um, it's, it's effective, particularly if you find the right organisms. In the case of tropical soda apple, uh, where the beetle has established, no one really has to worry about it anymore.